Fancy cameras, I can't shoot any content because I can't afford a camera. This is what we usually use. It's about £5,000. See you later. iPhone 15 Pro, watch what we do. So you've just seen some B-roll on an iPhone and you can clearly see what you can capture and what you can create with something that we all have in our pockets every single day. We're not going to do a complete video a before and after for you today because we're waiting for the gardens to be done. So we wanted just to walk around and show you what actually can be done with an iPhone and what you can create. And putting yourself on social media is usually the key to doors opening. So as you can see in the living room, we had new central heating. We've had the whole house back to brick, but new central heating, well, I have the floating radiators. I don't like the pipes coming out the ground. New skirting board, new windowsills, new windows. Spotlights, which are one of my favorite things because I think it adds a wow factor to the property. I went with brushed chrome on the sockets. Don't know how I feel about it. Don't know whether I'll be doing that again. We had a steel fitted across there in order to remove a load bearing wall to open up this space when the front door opens. But we kept that wall there to have a separate kitchen dining room. We wanted to have the separation because the house was quite large. Usually I would have one open plan space, but in this property, because it is a large space, I kept a main formal living room and then the kitchen diner. This kitchen dining room open space is absolutely sensational. Now this kitchen, is from Renz and I did a video, which is up here for you guys to see, um, basically saying Renz versus Howden's, what do I prefer? I love this kitchen. I think it's absolutely incredible. The space, the way we've used the space, I knocked out a wall there in order to create that side. I knocked out a wall here so we could have it flowing all the way through. I put a huge island in the middle the only thing that I didn't like was I had the oven and the hob and the extractor fan on this side. I really wanted it on the island, but the steel where we knocked the wall out just meant that we couldn't actually allow it. It wouldn't look how we wanted it to look. So we moved that over there. The sink, very happy with the sink. It's a quartz sink. And a couple of contractors that I've used in the past have started putting these stainless steel sinks back in again. I hate them. So very happy with that. And these tiles, as the splashback, Dan actually picked these, and I think they complement the kitchen amazingly well. But again, the finish, the spotlights, the skirting board, the colours, the open plan, just everything about it is absolutely incredible. In the bathroom, we had a bit of an issue because the specification sheet that my previous project manager handed over to the builders, or the contractors, was a sink and a toilet. I like them where I have them built in as a vanity like this. So we had to replace it once it was fitted because I didn't like it. And we knocked this wall out here. It was just a stud wall and we've turned it into a shower. So we have a four piece bathroom in here now, fully tiled and I'm super, super impressed with it. The only thing that I don't like is the tiles on the feature wall where the shower is, but I understand it. I like the way it breaks it up, but the tiles aren't my favorite. They're not growing on me like I thought they would, but all in all, again, sensational. I don't usually have chrome. I usually go for black or matte black. I went with chrome in here because I wanted to mix it up and see some different things. I don't know whether I'll be going chrome again in another bathroom because I do prefer the matte black finish, but that's nothing to do with the contractor's finish because it's exceptional. It's just some of the things that I picked maybe I won't pick them again. It's because I used to use them previously, years ago, and I got so bored of matte black, I wanted to switch it up. Sometimes the grass isn't greener on the other side. So there you have it guys, we've shot this whole video on an iPhone, no gimbal, just an iPhone. We do have a microphone and they are expensive, 250 pounds, but 
That's so you get clearer, crisp sound, but you can use the microphone from an iPhone. So we did add a little bit of an accessory, but not too much. And Duna has walked around, got all the B-roll, filmed the whole of this with nothing else other than that iPhone that's in his hand. This project is finished internally. Outside we have the gardeners working right now, but I'm happy. The one thing I'm not happy about is I changed some of the things that me and Isabella like, like the matte black taps, door handles, hinges, um, sockets and stuff like that. I just wanted to see some different things. Don't think I'll be doing that again. I'll stick to what I like, but it does show that not everything that you like, other people like, or vice versa. So it is good sometimes to change, but not me now. I'm going to stick to what I like. I'm ending the video right here, right now, with some motivation. It doesn't matter what level you're at, you will have some sort of smartphone in today's society. If you want to start, you will. If you want to put out content, you will. If you want to make excuses, you will. My advice to all of you, start with what you have and grow. There are levels, and the reason that we put out the content that we put out is because we've been working for nearly 10 years in this industry, three years on social media, so we do improve cameras, we do improve microphones, we do use lighting when we have studios, but that just comes with levels going up all the time. So start, get your phone out, start filming content, start sharing it with the world, and the people that need the education and want to see about your life will be attracted to what you put out there. Don't overthink it, don't worry about what other people say, just start.